from the liberating Sukhi to the unforgettable Dharkan, Shilpaji has always struck the right chord with her audience. Shilpaji, on behalf of Hansama and the Yoga Institute, kindly accept a small token of our appreciation. This memento captures the presence of our venerated founder, Sri Yogendraji, serving as a timeless tribute to his significant influence on the Yoga Institute. We request Sri Rishiji, the dynamic young assistant director of the Yoga Institute, to do the honors. Thank you, Rishiji. Today, we have come together to launch the new book, The Satvik Kitchen, which is authored by Dr. Hansaji Yogendra. We are here to commemorate this momentous occasion of the culinary masterpiece that is more than just a book of mouth-watering sattvic recipes. It pays homage to our beloved Guru, who has shared her wisdom, topped with decades of experience, and stirred in some creativity to serve the entire community. This book is the second volume of an in-depth perspective of diet in Ayurveda, along with modern evidence-based nutrition. Without further ado, let's get this exceptional book launch underway. We would like to request Hansa Ma and Shilpa Ji to unveil the book and open the doors of much-awaited the Satvik Kitchen. Please join me in a rousing round of ovation and applause. Thank you, Ma. Thank you, Shilpa Ji. Beyond the silver screen, she emerges as a brilliant entrepreneur, a stunning fitness guru, and the first actress to pioneer the realm of health and wellness on YouTube, which also has delicious and healthy go-to recipes. Shilpaji has not only influenced millions with her multi-skilled avatar, but also has set milestones as the first to have her own DVD on yoga along with her app, Simple Soulful. Shilpaji. <laughs> Shilpaji has also authored books on health, fitness, and nutrition, including The Great Indian Diet and the Diary of Domestic Diva, which provides readers with practical tips for achieving their fitness goals. Today, we are honored 
to have her join us on stage where her fitness journey takes the center stage inspiring us all to embrace a much more healthier lifestyle let's welcome shilpa ji with a much bigger round of applause as we request her to share a few thoughts with us ye mere height ke liye tha आत्मा नमस्ते जब हंसा जी के यहाँ से फ़ोन आया और जब मुझे पता चला कि इन्होंने ये बुक लिखा है दैट इज़ कॉल्ड द सात्विक किचन तो मैंने सोचा इंट्रो के लिए मैं कहाँ से शुरू करूँ तो क्योंकि मुझे सात्विक खाना बनाने में और खाने में बहुत रुचि है लेकिन जितना नॉलेज एक्चुअली होना चाहिए वो है नहीं मेरे पास तो मैं ढूंढती रहती हूँ मैं खोजती रहती हूँ कि मुझे करेक्ट इन्फॉर्मेशन कहाँ से मिले मुझे पता है कि द थ्री पिलर्स ऑफ सात्विक कुकिंग इज कपा इट्स बेस्ड ऑन यू नो the doshas and um, all of that so kapa pitta vata mujhe mujhe apna bhi pata hai ki apna mera dosh kya hai but i think dosh main dungi apne chef ko <laughs> jo zyada pyaaz dalta hai khane khane mein to logon ko lagta hai ki khane ko tasty banane ke liye zyada masalon ka use karna zaruri hai and i feel with books like these it will definitely debunk those old thoughts and and the way we are eating the satvik kitchen is the kind of book i would want this generation to read um if you want better health lekin main actually i'll go back to where i began to maine socha ke is book launch pe main मैं बात करना चाहूँगी हंसा जी के बारे में तो मैंने सोचा मैं लिखना शुरू कर देती हूँ इंट्रो इंट्रो आप बिलीव नहीं करोगे तीन पेज का मुझे समझ नहीं आ रहा कि मैं कहाँ से शुरू करूँ और कहाँ पे ख़त्म करूँ बिकॉज हंसा जी इज़ रेपिट हुआ इज इज जस्ट नेवर एंडिंग विच इज़ अूज कॉम्प्लीमेंट सब लोग उनको हंसा माँ बुलाते हैं वो सबकी माँ ही है बट आई डोंट वॉन्ट अ मिस आउट ऑन एनी थिंग सब लोग जानते हैं कि उन्होंने काफ़ी सारे बुक्स लिखी हैं शी इज़ को ऑथर्ड मे बी हंड्रेड बुक्स एंड रिटन ओवर यू नो ही शी इज़ शी इज़ डैबल विद मैनी अ सब्जेक्ट्स yoga wellness spirituality meditation and now satvik food um but what really amazed me is her academic qualifications she is a bsc in chemistry and zoology <laughs> she is also an llb <laughs> she's done her <laughs> yoga teachers training course i get but she's also re received a phd from the open international university of complementary medicines that calls for a round of applause guys to hansa ma aapne kya nahi kiya hai ye bata dijiye mujhe to i just i'm just amazed aur maine socha introduction likhne ke baad ke badi ho ke main हंसा जी होना चाहती हूँ <laughs> जब हमने कनेक्ट किया मैं एक्चुअली ये कहना चाहूँगी कि ये पहली बार हम प्रॉपरली मिल रहे हैं एक अवार्ड फंक्शन फंक्शन पे मिले थे हम लोग बहुत ही ब्रीफली और जब 
योगीज मिलते हैं ना योगी योगिनीज मिलते हैं एक अजीब सी एनर्जी होती है इट्स अ वेरी आई कॉन्ट एक्सप्लेन इट आप समझ सकते हैं आप यहाँ पे इस रूम में जितने भी बैठे हुए हैं द वंस दैट आर बैलेंस्ड एंड कनेक्टेड विद द इनर सेल्फ विल रिलेट टू वॉट आई एम सेंग तो एक इंस्टेंट आई डोंट नो एक एनर्जी uh, एक्सचेंज मैंने महसूस किया जो बहुत ही ओवरवेलमिंग था बहुत ही पॉजिटिव था और मैं चाह रही थी कि मैं 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 वापस आऊं और हंसा जी से मैं uh, बात करूं और थोड़ा सा वक्त गुजारूं उनके साथ बिकॉज शी इज़ गॉट सच अमेजिंग शी इज़ गॉट एन इन्फेक्शस एनर्जी यू नो जब वो बात करती है मेरा मन करता है कि मैं सुनूँ उनकी बात She's got a very calming demeanor. In the way she explains, in the way she uh, looks at the situation, she's got a very calming demeanor. In the way she explains, in the way she looks at life and her philosophies. So I am uh, a huge fan. And Hansa Ma, I don't know if you have told me or not. But before that, I was a fan of Raj. 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 Before that, I There are many times I got introduced actually to Hansama through YouTube, and I would listen to her speaking, and it would just. Um, I think today's event is um, is something that I may have manifested, you know, and all yogis and yoginis will understand that feeling, that that power of being able to achieve anything. is not an impossible task if you put your mind to it so i think i really wanted to to be here and um, i take it as a huge compliment hansama that you thought that i was worthy enough to come here and launch this beautiful book i'd want more people to read it and uh, i've always believed that you are what you eat you can either make food your medicine or you can eat it as slow poison and ayurveda and yoga as a combination is lethal in a good way <laughs> for your health so you must you must accept it it is both are our sciences i i believe in i am a very very proud indian and hansama and i were actually discussing this in the room when she complimented me on on my passion for yoga and whatever i'm doing i i explained to her that it it never came from a contrived place actually it came from a sense of pride as an indian that how we look up to maybe people from other nationalities doing yoga and then think that oh this this looks great maybe we should do it too when you have madonna talk about the benefits of ghee and then we will buy it because she has said it we need to value what we have where we come from and get back to our roots and once we do that we must spread the word and then we have a better generation so the satvik kitchen is doing exactly that going back to healthy eating going back to simplified cooking simple things like you know par boiling uh, you know your food your vegetables not overcooking them sprouting uh, using minimal spices and how i'm waiting for it to stop <laughs> or go by how the use of a spice can enhance or deteriorate your energy levels you know so you have to once you have an understanding of that you will be able to cook better and you will be able to enjoy your uh, your moods better your husbands will feel much better because it all depends on us we are the ones that actually the women in this room are, are the ones that actually make the choices for the family whether it be going and buying stuff from the supermarket or making the stuff at home or even if you are asking your your cook to make something the decision is yours 
So you play a very, very important and a very vital role in the health of your family. So that's an extremely important part. So I just, um, I'm extremely excited and happy that um, I'm here and books like this must be encouraged. And what can I say? I definitely want to come for one of the sessions, your <laughs> Hansama, if you, if you will uh, enroll me in. And uh, actually, my love for yoga is just, I feel like, you know, how can you love yoga like this? And then I read this really beautiful line um, by BKS Iyengar, where he sure. said that, you know, yoga is, it's like when you start doing yoga, it's, it's like you light that lamp. And with practice, that lamp will only keep getting brighter. So it just, I think I'm at that stage where I need to kind of brighten that lamp. And nutrition, while you're doing yoga and you have that, la la that lamp burning, nutrition will act like the oil. With the right nutrition, you will see that flame burning for much longer. So that is the amalgamation of uh, any kind of, um, you know, fitness regime and your nutrition. I always say that it is 70% nutrition and 30% any kind of fitness regime. So that balance is what uh, is extremely important in our lives, whether it be through um, our emotions, um, be it in our marriage, at our workplace, or in the way we eat. Uh, once we have that balance, anything in life is achievable. So thank you very much. I've said too much. I <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you for listening to me. <laughs> Thank you, Shilpaji. Thank you so much. You rightly said the key is balance. And we are very thankful to get some nice tips from her. 70% nutrition, 30% fitness regime. And not just run to asan classes only, always. But focus on other aspects also, along with nutrition. Yeah. Thank you so much. We really appreciate your kind words for Hansama and the Yoga Institute. And of course, we all have very common um, faith in yoga. And that is why we are here on this evening. Hansama. Hansama's life has been a testament to the transformative power of yoga. And her journey has been a source of inspiration for all who have had the privilege of crossing her path. Her wisdom, humility, and dedication to the well-being of humanity has touched hearts and minds across the globe. We are blessed to be guided by a true yoga guru, a visionary, and a living embodiment of yogic way of life. Her presence continues to be a source of enlightenment and inspiration to us all, always. We now request our spiritual torchbearer, our beloved Hansama, to share pearls of wisdom and honor to honor this occasion. Thank you. Thank you, Deepa. Thanks a lot that you are here. Um, one of your fans, some uh, four years back, told me that, Ma, why do you have to suffer so much? And they have to suffer much, much more. They are good people. Why should they suffer so much? And I said, that well, they know how to handle any ups and downs very gracefully, very strongly, and they become stronger day by day. And that's what we can see in Shilpa. So 
I saw the problems coming and going. Life is full of that. Every human goes through varieties of problems. Every human has their own ups and downs. Every human has to go through certain suffering. But how you take it? You suffer with suffering or you come up, come out of it, take a strength, understand why suffering and understand that you go beyond the suffering and you become stronger and go ahead. So we all have to learn this and yoga talks this. Yoga is a science of living, life science. It tells you how to live and it tells you all these things. We at the Yoga Institute, now all of you are studying here, you know that we talk a lot about mind. Once in a while you can't do asan, fine, but become aware about how you are sitting, standing, what you are doing whole day, how did you spend whole day, and what was your thought process whole day. If mind is positive and happy, everything will go very well. You don't have to worry about even fitness day to day as a regime. It doesn't go like a regime because life doesn't go like that. Life has its own ups and downs. Flow with situation. Enjoy every moment. Enjoy every human being as he or she is. We have to learn that. Not just find faults and suffer, but enjoy. It's not joy for joy. You have to put effort from all direction. Go falling down, you don't have to put any effort. It person just goes down. So, here, with Shilpaji, when she is here, she is showing that in film industry, that industry is not so easy. The way in which they have to work, hard work, no timetable, nothing really which goes according to your wish. I have few little experience here when I do YouTube, you know, here at the Yoga Institute, where if I have to talk for two minutes, very often I have to stop. Either some sound comes from here and there, outdoor shooting. In the studio, you can go fat fat, but outdoor shooting, so many times that five minutes talk, sometimes I have to spend 45 minutes to one hour. Because some or other problems, some car will say pop pop, you have to stop. The plate goes, you have to wait. Some vessels sound come, dhadar, you have to wait. Sometimes this child is running around and creating noise and fighting with each other, enjoying each other. You have to wait. You have to wait and keep balance and patience because you have to talk. You have to say something useful and mind should not get disturbed, but mind should enjoy. So I've, <laughs> I've been doing here since these years and uh, film is a very big thing. In film, so they have <laughs> many more people to <laughs> you know, hold your attention. Here, my cameraman tells me, Hansaji, look straight. <laughs> Don't look here and there now. Come on. But I, I can't look here and there. I have to look straight, means straight. They all are moving around, but I have to look straight. <laughs> I can't get up because that mic and everything is fixed here and all that stuff. I have to be sitting at one place. So if body is not flexible, you will have backache and knee pain and everything, and problems. I know many of your industry people, I mean the film industry people are coming here. Since years, right from Dada Muni, that is Ashok Kumar, down to <laughs> Dilip Kumar, down to Saira Banu, her mother, Naseem Banu, to all these years. We are 105 year old institute, and at that time, Yoga was not that popular or people, but they knew there is something available here at the Yoga Institute, this place, and they used to come and learn. So we know quite a lot about how this industry is. And uh, so when you could come and take out time and come to be with us, it's really great. I'm very, very glad that you are here this book, I will just say one or two things, that nowadays we are in so much hurry. People don't have time. They wear a nice watch, but they don't even look at it. They have no time for it. People are running. They don't even know why they are running, but they are running. 
they are fast the speed now with that when you are eating food that has to be now give some respect to your own self your life they don't have time for self also and that's where the problem comes but food yes body is hungry so you need food so whatever is available open the packet and eat open the bottle and drink this culture has come and that is very very definitely hurtful and harmful and that's why i see how many diseases come up more <laughs> uh, we are going research work in many sicknesses lots of diseases why because person himself is not with self he is with everywhere but not with self so here in this book i have given small small very simple recipes which person will not take time to do but person will feel that the proper nutrition is going into his body so that he can function better his mind can function better and his thought processes could be better because as you eat so is your life and life means your thinking how you think how you see things all these directly is connected through food annam brahma brahman your brahman is consciousness food is consciousness after all it becomes everything to your body dead thing goes to your body and becomes alive every cell is receiving everything from it so this book i have given where small 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 recipes what you should eat in breakfast what at lunch what at snacks in between what if you want to just have some munchy snacky thing what so many such things are given and i think so that would help because just open any page and you can have some one recipe which you can cook quickly it will not take time so that much effort so everybody should put and i am sure that would be fine and so i wanted shilpa ji to come here because she is with health fitness and with this industry no so many people from your film industry don't even know that the yoga institute exists because they are into their own world <laughs> so i would you should make them understand that something or other they should learn from here if dada muni has learned <laughs> they can also <laughs> because we are here so well whatever it is the point is that today it was a great time with her and what she spoke was very very systematic very organized and from her heart and i could see she is talking that and not theoretically speaking so that works heart to heart connection heart to heart energy exchanging and being in a good company is always good so thank you to see that you all are here and uh, deepa please take over thank you ma and as ma said we always have a choice she always says we have a choice we always have a choice to suffer or to become stronger and as shilpa ji said we always have a choice to make our food our medicine or our poison so we always have a choice we just have to be a little more mindful and on behalf of everybody sitting here shilpa ji as a first time visitor to the yoga institute i must say i was amazed at your mindfulness of waiting for the aircraft to go by and then speak don't we all understand it and that is why founder has always said yoga is mindfulness or mindfulness is yoga in true sense no celebration is complete without our pooja ma's mangal geet we now request pooja ma hansa ji to chant the mangal geet and we will follow Sabha mangala 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 
नमस्कार ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ ऑल प्रेजेंट हियर वी वुड लाइक टू थैंक हंसमा फॉर सेल्फलेसली गाइडिंग अस ऑल ऑलवेज वी वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्रेस अस सिंसियर ग्रैटिट्यूड टू शिल्पा जी फॉर ग्रेसिंग द स्पेशल ओकेजन एस आर एस्टीम गेस्ट and sharing your valuable words of wisdom and tips we will definitely follow them we sincerely appreciate your remarkable contribution to spreading the awareness about holistic wellness and encouraging a healthy lifestyle and a very heartful gratitude to everyone present here today for this wonderful event let's have a round of applause for all of us मुझे बहुत खुशी है कि हंसामा ने सोचा कि मैं इस बुक को लॉन्च करने की काबिल हूँ तो उन्होंने मुझे याद किया और मुझे 
बहुत खुशी है कि ये हो पाया आज का जो इवेंट विथ माई क्रेजी स्केड्यूल्स लेकिन इन्होंने भी वेट किया मेरा एंड मुझे ऐसे लगता है कि आयुर्वेदा और योगा का जो कॉम्बिनेशन है वो बहुत ही कमाल का कॉम्बिनेशन है ये एक बहुत ही आई फील अंडर रेटेड ये दोनों साइंसेस बहुत ज़्यादा अंडर रेट अंडर रेटेड रहे हैं हमारे ही कंट्री में वन द वर्ल्ड इज़ लुकिंग अप टू यू नो योगा एंड आयुर्वेदा तो सात्विक द सात्विक किचन इज टॉकिंग अबाउट द प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ यू नो द प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ आयुर्वेदा एंड कि कैसे खाना चाहिए कितना खाना चाहिए uh, कैसे पकाना चाहिए कब कब खाना चाहिए और कितना चबाना चाहिए ये भी बहुत ज़रूरी है uh, और उसके बारे में उस विषय पे और टिप्पणी देंगी हंसामा बताइए हंसामा नहीं आपने जो कहा वो बहुत सही है लेकिन उसके ऊपर एक और बात आती है कि आपके मन की स्थिति क्या है जब आप खाना खा रहे हो अगर आपको अभी गुस्सा है चिंता है तो आप खाना मत खाइए सिर्फ लिक्विड ले लीजिए कुछ भी लीजिए छाछ ले लो नींबू पानी ले लो मगर खाना मत खाओ वो खाना फिर बॉडी में जमा हो जाएगा पॉइजन की तरह काम करेगा तो ये माइंड को योग बहुत ज़्यादा मानता है इसलिए जैसा खाओ अन वैसा हो मन की बात करता है सिर्फ खाना नहीं सिर्फ न्यूट्रिशन नहीं मगर आपके शरीर के मन की स्थिति तो ये जब सब जोड़ कर हम कुछ कर रहे हैं और इस किताब में ये सारी चीज़ें बताई है तो लोगों को समझ में आई शिवा जी आपके खाने की बात की जाए तो हम देखते हैं कि आपको कोई चीट डे होता है जहाँ पे आप बहुत अच्छी अच्छी डिशेज मैं हफ्ते में सिर्फ एक ही बार चीट करती हूँ दूसरे जो है वो सिर्फ चीट करते हैं और हफ्ते में एक बार डिसिप्लिन या बैलेंस रखते हैं अपने खाने में ये फ़र्क है बस मुझ में और उन लोगों में आई थिंक जिंदगी में आप कुछ भी करो अच्छे मन से करो और अच्छा सोचो और जैसे हंसा माँ ने कहा जब खा रहे हैं तो अच्छा सोच के खाओ तो फिर वो बॉडी को लगता भी है शरीर को लगता है आप जब जब आप अन्न को देखते हो तो वही अन्न जो होता है वो आपके शरीर पे या तो मेडिसिन का काम कर सकता है या स्लो पॉइजन का काम कर सकता है डिपेंड्स ऑन हाउ यूर कुकिंग इट हाउ मच हाउ मच यूर कुकिंग इट वेर यू आर बाइंग योर प्रोड्यूस फ्राम ये सारी चीज़ें बहुत इम्पॉर्टेंट है और होम uh, मेकर्स के लिए स्पेशली और आज के जनरेशन के लिए जैसे हंसामा ने कहा कि बहुत बहुत ही कन्वीनियंट हो गया है भूख लगी पैकेट खोला खा लिया हम पैकेट के पीछे क्या लिखा हुआ है वो दिखते भी नहीं हैं प्लीज़ इट्स वेरी वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट टू बी ईटिंग इन अवेयरनेस बी माइंडफुल अबाउट ईटिंग शिल्पा मैम आपने ये भी कहा है कि कनेक्टेड टू रूट इज़ वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट तो आजकल ये काफ़ी मतलब काफ़ी यंग जनरेशन हो गई जो हमारे बॉलीवुड हो या कोई भी इंडस्ट्री आप अपनी बात करें यंग जनरेशन यस तो उन्हें आप क्या मैसेज देना चाहेंगे जो रूट्स से नहीं जैसे आर्टिफिशियल चीज़ें खाते हैं या कुछ भी चीज़ जो आर्टिफिशियल खाइए यस तो उन्हें क्या कहना चाहेंगे लास्टली मैसेज क्या पैकेट को पढ़िए अगर आप पैकेट से खा रहे हैं तो उसमें देखिए कि शुगर कंटेंट कितना है प्रिजर्वेटिव्स हैं आप अपने बच्चों को वो सामान दे रहे हो क्यों आप घर पे खाना नहीं पका सकते दो मिनट की बात होती है ये जो हम लोग एपती दिखाते हैं वेन इट कम्स टू कुकिंग फ्रॉम स्क्रैच बहुत आसान है एक्चुअली कुक करना घर पे अपने बच्चों को अगर हम लोग देख रहे हैं कि कैंसर और इतनी अजीब अजीब बीमारियाँ अभी फैल रही हैं द रेट The rate of all these diseases have gone up because of the way we are eating, है ना मैं आपसे पूछती हूँ आप अपना खाना किस में बनाती हैं घी में बनाती हैं कि घी घी से परहेज है घी से बनाते हैं कभी कभी हाँ। आप हेल्दी हैं हेल्दी मतलब जो हेल्दी चीज़ें हम खाते हैं बहुत अच्छी बात है ये जनरेशन है जो इसको ये जो हमारे पुराने टेक्निक्स हैं जो हम लोग सत्तर और पचास साल पहले की बात कर रहे हैं जैसे वो लोग खाते थे अभी ये आजकल नया फैट शुरू हो गया है छः सात मील्स खाओ तब खाओ जब भूख लगे 
क्योंकि किसी ने बोला है कि छः बार खाओ इसका मतलब ये नहीं कि छः बार खाओ भूख नहीं भी लग रही हो अगर आप ठूस रहे हैं अपने मुंह में तो क्या फायदा आप तब हाँ थोड़ा ही खाओ हाँ पेट भर भर के मत खाओ सिर्फ भूख मिटाने के लिए खाया जाता है पेट भरने के लिए नहीं तो यंग जनरेशन को ये देखना कि खाली कुछ सॉलिड खा लिया उससे बात नहीं बनेगी कुछ लिक्विड भी जरूरी है क्योंकि सब स्ट्रेस में है कौन स्ट्रेस में नहीं है आज इसलिए ज़रूरी है वो स्ट्रेस में फिर एसिड ज़्यादा प्रोड्यूस होता है बॉडी में हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड बड़ा स्ट्रॉन्ग है वो एसिड का एक ड्रॉप लेके आप अगर कपड़ों पे डालोगे ना तो चार लेयर खट्टा करके निकल जाएगा इतना स्ट्रॉन्ग वो एसिड है और वो पेट में चला जाता है आपने लिक्विड कुछ लिया ही नहीं है प्रॉब्लम ये सब है इससे क्या एग्जैक्ट खाना कैसे खाना कितना खाना कब खाना किस बर्तन में पकाना ये सब चीज़ें बहुत ज़रूरी हो जाती है सीखना और इसीलिए ये किताब लिखी चलिए उनका हो गया थैंक यू